The last 20 or so years, we've seen a growth in the infrastructure in the country. Buildings have come up. And with buildings, we need furniture, we need flooring material, and bamboo had started growing up, uh, coming and drawing a lot of interest. And we, we were importing a lot of bamboo finished products from China. And uh, one of them is the flooring board. And beautiful timber, beautiful composite of bamboo um, that is replacing timber, because right now timber is very expensive. So that was one of them, making partitions of bamboo, making curtains, you know, the products are endless. But we were now importing much more bamboo products. We had even some synthetics, rambu, you know, made of plastic, sort of like, you know. But we said, you know, these are things which can be made locally. So how can we introduce toothpicks? We were importing toothpicks. We are importing toothpicks. Yet, we had also toothpick industries in the country, made from pines, uh, and also even uh, bamboo. There was a factory that was doing that in, uh, um, in Nakuru many years ago. But they stopped making it because they, it, first of all, getting the bamboo was stopped. And then also it was a lot of manual work. And uh, so those were some of the, the markets that were there. The other markets that we found, around the tea growing areas, people make baskets for picking tea. And that was an easy, easy thing to do. And uh, you get the bamboo. And once you, you harvest the young ones for you to be able to weave them, you get the bamboo baskets. So those were the kind of um, markets that we were finding. But we thought that if we, we were to compete with other uh, countries in terms of this multi-billion dollar industry of the bamboo, then we need to up our game. We need to increase the bamboo on farm. We need to have quality assurance of the bamboo. And in that quality assurance, the program was able to, to, to develop uh, six standards with the Kenya Bureau of Standards. We customized uh, a few standards from elsewhere and were able to customize them to Kenya. So we are six. In fact, earlier on today, I was even in a technical committee looking at other, trying to finish uh, some two standards on bamboo flooring and bamboo furniture. Um, those are the things that will guide the industry because with standards, then that's when you can compete in the market. This engagement focuses on goal 12. Bamboo poles, fiber and engineered bamboo can be used for most purposes where timber is used. Bamboo is woody grass, not a tree, and is selectively harvested without harming the ecosystem or contributing to deforestation. Bamboo poles, fiber and engineered bamboo can be used for most purposes where timber is used today and in some cases offers better performance than some timber products. My name is Alex Njenje. I'm the director of Bamboo Craft uh, based in Eldoret. We are handling a wide range of bamboo uh, items that uh, a variety of, of bamboo products from chairs to beds to cornerstone to picture frames based on our clientele. And uh, currently, we 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 having uh, like four workers who are really committed to the workshop, handling all sorts of uh, bamboo products in Eldoret. Bamboo furniture is a very unique uh, product, and it's it's a market that is a bit challenging in terms of getting the materials, having the right uh, furniture that suits the clientele. Uh, if you have good products, uh, people will go for it. And there are people who also make other furnitures using uh, timber. So for us to hit the market, we were able now to sit down and see what is it that we can make that make other people come for these products. Two, uh, there was the issue of uniqueness. Most items are made out of timber. Rarely will you find clans or, or, or people making bamboo furnitures. So for us, we thought it was a good idea because there was a ready market for it. There's no competition. And we decided to make something that can, can, can appeal to the society and a bit unique in the, in the market. Kwa <laughs> Niko in charge ya weaving na niko na wenzangu hapa Sarah na Fanny. 
kutoka kwa hii bambu tunatengeneza vitu mingi tutatengeneza baskets lampshades flower vessels dust bins trays na ndio upatikane na e product ndio wanze kushona tuko na tools this one is called a splitter this one is a scissor hand drill and a tape measure before you start we also have a knife before you start kutengeneza hii tuko na hii hii pengile inaitwa pingile utamesha ujue iko na urefu gani ndio itakuguide kitu yenye unataka na kushona so kwa hii before uanze kutengeneza utatumia hii splitter we split after kumaliza utachukia utachukua kisu uanze kutoa chane atapea huyu mwenzake ataweka kwenye mguu hapo apige randa kuimeka kwa smooth ndio iko itumike rahisi wakati wa kusuka hiyo anapiga randa akishamaliza kupiga randa atazianika kwenye jua zikauke ndio iko nyepesi ukianza kusuka haitakupatia hard time bambu it's easier bambu inapatikana hapa rahisi it's a walking distance just here kutafuta bambu sio mbali na ba, the type of bamboo you use for yenye inapatikana kwa hii region yetu ni vulgaris ndio tunatumia kufanya weaving yeah. jina yangu naitwa Bonface Maina eh uh, ama bamboo artisan na deal na interior and exterior bamboo product for example furniture uh, and handicrafts Okay nili choose bambu kwa sababu bambu ni mimi napenda environment na kuanga conscious about environment bambu ni versatile meaning inaweza tengeneza a lot of products and then ni sustainable and a renewable natural resource so nili decide bambu kwa sababu nilikuwa naangalia at least itakuwa na impact kwa both economy na environment Uh, pia tunatengeneza necklaces na bracelets na small pieces za bambu alafu pia tuna uh, utilize these pieces za bambu unaweza jenga charcoal charcoal uh, eco friendly charcoal uh, so currently ni, ni, ni hizo interior and exterior products and then kitu ya kando tunatengeneza ni kama charcoal Yeah. Alafu uh, when you plant one one bamboo ile nini you know they grow like 300 poles eh unajua mti ukipanda moja ina grow moja and ukikata hiyo mti imeisha but bamboo the more you cut it the more it sprout so nikiangalia alafu it takes within a very short time it mature We currently we get our uh, bamboo from the local farmers around the the western and the Nyanza uh, provinces of this country uh, because they have a lot along the riparian. Uh, we we are closely doing this with uh, the help of uh, Kefri uh, because uh, you realize that Kefri uh, is is the provider of the seedlings so the qualities and the species which we require uh, they give us the assistance to tell us where and where can we get the product of bamboo which we need if if you do really look into it and uh, realistically uh, then then i just want to give you a few examples first ecopol is uh, a uv protected so it doesn't get affected with our tropical heat Uh, second it is uh, it, it, it is not uh, affected by termites or uh, the the birds 
uh, or rodents where which is a usual case where you have uh, you know some of these uh, wooden poles affected by termites and everything the most important factor it does not get affected with salt so there is no corrosion the biggest benefit is uh, for an eco pole is that uh, the carbon footprint that is now the most important if you look at the other products uh, the, the carbon uh, footprints are quite uh, massive look at the the bamboo factor when it comes to carbon print so it, it's got numerous advantage and the biggest advantage is it doesn't break into two and the life the life is between 20 to 50 years and at the end of that lifespan everything is practically reusable the hdp can go back into the plastic industry for the re reusing the, the the bamboo inside with the polyurethane can actually be used as a briquette for furnaces so nothing really goes to waste <laughs> yenye natoka kwa bambu na ni safi sana tena ishi kwa jiko hata moto haiwezi kazima haraka kitu ingine yenye natengeneza ni toothpick nimeanza kutengeneza toothpick na huwa natumia kisu si ati niko na mashine ingine yenye natumia natumia kisu na sani pepa lakini uzito yenye naona kisu naweza hata kunikata kidole sasa mki Serikali kini ikijaribu kunisaidia hata mashini ya kutengeneza toothpick naweza kuwa ni raisi kwa kufanya kazi juu hii ni kazi naweza fanya na watoto naweza elimisha wa mama wenzangu na tutoke kwa umaskini sasa mimi naelimisha watu wa Busia watu wa Butula tupande bambu kwa wingi juu ni mradi mzuri si mradi wa kurudisha mtu kwa umaskini Thank you.